Hey guys, it's me, Zombly, and I am back with some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2015, and we have got some calls to take care of. We got some jobs here. Car is hard to control. Find and fix all engine problems or timing needs replaced, but I can't take these two, so crap. Well then, I guess we're taking the Royale Bianco and the Piccolo. And that's loud. I can't take that one either. Good lord. Alrighty, I guess I'll take this one. We'll load that guy in real quick. Um, also, interesting fact, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 just got updated today as I signed on to Steam to try it out again for this episode. I don't know why I said try it out to record for this episode. This isn't a demo. This is the full version. I bought it. Don't look at me. I'm not a criminal. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I really did purchase it on Steam, and I highly suggest you do the same thing. We're also going to find and fix all the engine problems of this Piccolo here. Um, I haven't off-screened anything yet. Um, of the two episodes that I posted quite a while back now, um, which, by the way, I don't have a schedule to upload anymore, uh, I gave that crap up, considering um, <laughs> I wasn't getting anything done. It was just, it was too difficult. Um, so I just kind of gave up my schedule. I'm still working on stuff. Like, I had a couple of requests to do some more videos on Deadliest Catch and everything else, and I fully intend to. I haven't given up any of the series that I've started. I just... I'm not going to upload them day to day like I was beforehand. So, uh, anyway, uh, let's see what uh, was up with this guy. And we have another call here. We can take up to three. Let's see what this one is. I want to get an interesting job in here. Break problems. Not really interesting, but I'll take it because it's easy. That'll give us three cars to deal with. And then uh, I don't think we can get to them all. It depends on how long some of these engine problems are going to take. Let's see what's up with this guy. Outer tie rod, that's it. Oh my god, this is so easy. Okay. Well then. This one will be in and out real quick, so it's a good thing we did take three jobs. Never mind, we will probably get all of them done. It's outer tie rod. Oh, which one? Which side is it? Did I guess the right side? I did not. It's the other side. It's this side. So we'll go ahead and take the wheel off of this guy and get that tie rod replaced real fast. But anyways, I didn't off-screen anything uh, just because I haven't been back to the game in a while. So um, I think uh, maybe I'll start trying to off-screen some stuff after I post this video. Because I know on the second video I did get some people saying that it would be okay if I skipped ahead. But they didn't actually specify if they wanted me specifically to skip ahead so i think we've already spent our single point on an obd scanner we did indeed okay so let's run over to the computer real fast sell off well actually we just need to buy an outer tie rod but anyways um the game did get updated quite a lot actually um, so there's a there's a couple of uh, new fixes and stuff for the small bugs that there were, and uh, they added some DLC that is not very expensive at all. I suggest if you guys uh, would like to do some more tuning to the cars and stuff, I would get it right now because it's 99 cents on Steam the DLC for this, and. Uh, it also included some bug fixes for the base game, which is really cool. I, I don't really remember the change log, so sorry about that. But anyway, I figured we could just hang out, work on some cars today, just for a little bit. And then uh, I'll get back to maybe uh, some ghost control and some deadliest catch and then B-17 and all that stuff. But uh, no promises on dates or times of that. I'm just going to do it as it comes. But anyways, simple $21 job. We earned $21 offset job for a total of $41. $21 profit, as I said. So, boom, there's that one out of the way. Let's get this guy over. He's got the brake problem, so we'll just throw him on the left lifter, and then we'll work on the guy on the right real fast. Just kind of trying to speed through these. I don't really know why. There's no reason for it. Why did I lift this car? I don't even know what's up with it. I've already forgotten the order, so I don't know what they want specifically, if anything. Crankshaft and an exhaust manifold cover. Okay. Simple enough, except for getting to the crankshaft. The crankshaft might be a little bit difficult. I do know that we're going to need to drain the oil, remove the oil pan, and the filter. I can see the exhaust manifold's totally screwed up right there, but let's get the oil out of this car, because we will have to remove the oil pan to get to the crankshaft. I don't know if that's a real thing, like in real life, if you need to do that, but I do know in the game that is the only way to get to the crankshaft of any vehicle that they have represented here, is you have to remove the oil pan. And if you don't drain the oil before you do that... Um, oh yeah, right, because I'm holding that. Okay, there we go. There we go. 
Oh, that was good clean oil too. But anyways, if you remove the oil pan without first draining the oil, you will get in a lot of trouble. I don't know why I removed that. I guess to pour any oil out of it. <laughs> I'm like trying to act like it's real life here. If you if you rip the oil filter off a car in real life and you don't have anything to catch the oil that's about to come out of it, you're going to have oil everywhere. But in this game, you can just take the oil filter off and nothing happens. Um, fun fact, though, for you non-car experts like me, um, if you just rip the oil filter off a car, it's full of oil, so don't do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can't remove the oil pan completely. That'll give us access to the crankshaft, but I do believe we're going to have to drop the car and remove a few other pieces. We're going to have to take out some of the, like, the pistons and stuff, I think. We are going to have to remove the crankshaft bearing caps. There's one. Oh, boy. Just going to hope you guys are okay with zoomy any outy back and forth, back and forth, because that's how it's going to go. Uh, let's take this guy off. Shoop de whoop. Just like that. Okay. So now we have to remove the, the uh, pistons with the con rods, but the only way to do that is through the engine bay. You can't do it from underneath. I don't know. It's it's kind of like a puzzle game more than it is an actual car uh, simulation. I guess a car internal car mechanic simulation. I don't know. I'm out of coffee, you guys. i got to wait till tomorrow to get some more coffee. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, anyways. It's, uh, uh, we're going to have to remove all the ignition coils. Oh, my God. Okay. Now I can remove the engine head cover. Thank God. So once the engine head cover comes off, then we should be able to get to the pistons, I think. Don't quote me. But yeah, um, I'm still curious to know what you guys think. If you definitely want me to skip ahead, that would be fine. Um, I would understand completely. Does all the timing have to come off, too? Alright, let's remove the spark plugs. I don't remember the steps on this. It's been a while since I played the game, so... Yeah, I'm just ripping apart someone's car. So why does this need to... I guess the timing cover has to come off, which means everything else on the timing has to come off. Good lord. Why don't you just get a new engine entirely and save me the trouble? Scrap your car, dude. It's not worth it no more, that's for sure. They said the crankshaft was messed up. So, that's what I'm going to remove. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I should double check my order. But we should be able to get the timing cover off now. Which should give us access to the camshafts, which we should be able to pull off. Once we remove the timing belt, and then the cam gears, then the camshafts will come off. Then we can remove the engine head cover... And then we should be able to get to our pistons. I lied. The exhaust manifold needs to come off, and so does the fuel rail. And the throttle! Good lord. I'm starting to remember slowly but surely. A lot of parts gotta come off this car. All to get to one. So that's why I wasn't really looking forward to, like, replace engine parts, because usually it's something like the crankshaft. So let's go ahead and remove the throttle, then the intake manifold, and then the fuel rail should have to come off as well. Then we can remove the engine cover, the engine head cover, and get to that lousy crankshaft. Yeah, see, now this needs to come off. Fuel rail's off. Now we can remove the engine head. Thank God. Six quick bolts, and we are done. Just about. Then we gotta put the whole thing back together. The only good thing about these really long jobs like this, um, unfortunately they eat up a ton of my time, but, uh, the thing is, is at least uh, in terms of game, it's nice because uh, it's giving me a whole lot of experience. Every one of those parts that are coming out and every one that's going to go back in is going to give me an experience point. So now we have to lift it up again. Then we can finally remove that stupid crankshaft after all of that. Can you guys believe that? I lied. What did I miss? What? What is there? Why, why can't I remove you? What do you want from me? Don't tell me the transmission and shit has to come off, because I don't remember that. I know I've got a terrible memory. In fact, I have a downright horrible memory. I'm not even going to fuck around. I'm not even going to joke. My memory is shit, but I do know, I know for a fact, that you don't have to remove the transmission. Is it the steering pump? Let's get rid of the steering pump. Fuck you, too, power steering pump. 
accessible from underneath the car. Okay, so can I please remove the crankshaft then? Like I've been after this entire freaking time. Alright, come on. Let me remove the crankshaft. Why can't I remove the crankshaft? What is possibly blocking the crankshaft from removal? Oh my god, I really don't remember the process then, so I guess I'm gonna make a cut here and I'll come back when I figure it out, which is kind of embarrassing, because I'm, I'm like 100% sure that you didn't have to remove a whole lot to get to the, uh, like, I don't remember having to remove the transmission to get to the damn crankshaft, but what do I know? I'm gonna go ahead and take that apart as well, might as well, I'm supposedly a mechanic in this situation, but I'm gonna save video time so we can get more into an episode, a single episode, rather, than, um, than if I sat here and did this all on screen. So I'll be back in just a little bit, you guys. All right, okay, all right. I Even I can admit when I'm wrong. Apparently the fucking transmission does have to come off, but at least we can get to the bloody fucking crankshaft now. All of that for one measly part, correct? Or was there another part? I'm pretty sure there was another part. Oh yeah, the exhaust manifold cover's borked too. Okay, let's go get him a new manifold cover. Uh, let's just go exhaust. We need an exhaust manifold cover. So why is that not under exhaust? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Let's type in manifold. Exhaust manifold cover. That's all I need. There we go. $35 part. We also need a freaking crankshaft. <laughs> I'm like cranky now. Get it? <laughs> Crank. Crank shot? That sounds, that sounds gross. Ah, Jesus, was it an R4 or an 08? No, 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 no. It wouldn't be a V8 overhead something. It's definitely, no, it's 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 an R4. I'm confident enough to bet $110 on it. Yeah, this little tiny thing is certainly not a fucking V8. We all know that. Okay. Now that I'm done embarrassing myself, let's throw the crankshaft back in. And then put everything back together for the transmission as well, which is all required. Now we need the pressure plate. There should be a release bearing after that, because we already got the flywheel on, I think. I don't know. Just going back through the motions. Best mechanic ever. Yeah, see, there's the release bearing that I was talking about. Now we can put the gearbox on. A couple of bolts here and there. Gearbox is good to go. Got the new crankshaft in there now. Bada bing, bada boom. That goes back on. We'll deal with the uh, getting all the steering mechanism parts and everything else back in there. Let's uh, first, before we get too far, finish out the bottom of this engine, making sure we get everything back in, including the bearing caps, and then, of course, the oil pan will need to go back on. And then we should be done with this guy. The only good thing that came from this was the fact that I earned a butt-ton of experience by dealing with this crap. So there we go. Yada, yada, yada. Um, I won't be able to put the uh, the oil pan back on until I get everything done with the timing and uh, the pistons and con rods and stuff back on. So I guess, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw the drive shaft back in there while we're at it. Throw this drive axle back on. Single bolt. That'll give us our tire back. Let's throw the tire on as well. So I guess we are going to finish out the steering and the front wheel drive for now. Yada, yada, yada. Boom, done and done that side. Let's go ahead and get this back together to the other drive axle, which is important for a four, a front wheel drive car, not a four wheel drive car. It's far from, far from. What do I know? What do I know? So yeah, anyways, I don't know, guys. Um, I've been like just not spending a whole lot of time on my channel, and um, I, I, I don't know. It's just it's been a little bit more difficult for me to uh, try to, I guess, record lately. And uh, I, I feel bad because I, I miss the interaction with everybody. I've got, a, I've got a lot of subscribers, and I really enjoyed hearing everything they had to say. And uh, I don't know, it's just... I'm missing a whole bunch now. So, at least that's how I feel. I mean, I can't assemble anything until I put the starter back on. Is it really that important to put the starter on first? What about... Uh, yeah, here, let's, let's get those pistons back in there. That's the main important piece. Those are probably what's keeping me from putting on the fuel rail and the exhaust manifold, all that fun stuff. 
Let's get the engine head back on. That could go back on. And so I guess we do have to complete the top of the engine, and the very last piece is the first piece that came off, which is the oil pan. And then we'll have to give him new oil. See, this bastard put me through so much trouble. Then, on top of it, he makes me give him brand new oil for next to no charge. After I pretty much, you know, extort large sums of money on him for disassembling an engine, you know. The guy's nerve. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Boom. Back on there. Let's throw that throttle on there. Throttle is good to go. Let's get the camshafts in so we can then replace the timing as well. We need to get our spark plugs back in. See, if I was a nice mechanic, I would give him new spark plugs, but I'm not. Nah, because see, I'm actually, you could argue I'm a good mechanic then, because new spark plugs would cost me more money, which means I would have to charge him more money. You see? So I'm saving the guy money by reusing what I can. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, we'll throw that timing belt on there. Unadjusted, much to Dezabon's chagrin. You're welcome, my friend. I didn't adjust that timing. Car's gonna explode. <laughs> and and Dezabon, while well, you're still here, you know, just grinding your teeth in anger at me, um, I'm also gonna overfill the car with oil. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> just messing with you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. It's just the type of person I am. Um, but no, seriously, uh, just, just another shout out to Dezabon, like, this whole series, just, I'm gonna think of Dezabon every time I play this series, just because of, like, his comment on some of the first videos I did of it, it's, it was really, it was very informative and well typed out and everything, it's not like it was a, oh my god, you suck, go die comment, it was just, it was funny, the things that I forced this poor guy to watch on what not to do, because he's a mechanic. He, he knows a lot about this kind of stuff, and it's, it's very obvious in comparison that I don't. So I tend to do things in-game that really upset him, and so now I just take that opportunity to mess with him, and it makes me think about it every time. So you're welcome, Desabon. Thanks for being a great subscriber, buddy. I, I really mean it. <laughs> just, I just have to mess with you. I can't help it. Okay, so let's throw on that exhaust manifold. Zoop, zop, zip. And, uh, oh my god, there's a lot more bolts than I thought there was. Carriage bolts, carriage bolts everywhere. That's another thing that I found funny about this game is, like, obviously it's not a down to, like, the books simulator. It's it's very basic in terms of, like, car internals, but you would think that not all of an engine, in fact, like, 90% of a car in this game is held together by, um, just carriage bolts, and I don't, I don't think that's very realistic. Do you guys? I don't think so either. Yeah. Seriously. It's like carriage bolts for everything. It's good to know. I mean, carriage bolts are pretty cheap, but I even like this feature over here if you look. Look, we got carriage bolts for days. Just miles of carriage bolts. <laughs> in case I lose some of these off these cars. That's how you build a car in this world. In this simulated world. You just, you know, just throw in a bunch of carriage bolts and you're fine. They're all the same size. They're all standard between manufacturers. Don't matter. Don't matter in the least. <laughs> Alright, so that's back on. Now we should just be able to give this guy some oil and call it a day, at least on this car. We'll finish up the brake job on that one real quick, and I think that'll probably round out this episode very quickly. Um, again, I didn't set a timer. I should probably check. Maybe I'll do one more after the brakes. I think I will, in fact. I think I will do one more after the brake job just because... Okay, where's... where? There it is. Okay. There we go. Boom. Done and done. Now we can close the hood. Uh, and let's get this guy out of here. We earned $289 after spending 145 It's about 100 less than 100 something profit. I'm not sure. Uh, it's not too bad. Now we can go to our inventory and sell all these broken pieces, though. And we got 21 bucks for that. Okay, so what is this guy's problem? He just had some braking faults. Ooh, an ABS module's out. Actually, that's a little more serious, but super easy to get to because I believe the ABS module is underneath the brake servo. There it is. ABS pump. So let's get that module off there. His pump's looking a little bad, too. What's the condition on that? So the pump's going to come off the opposite side. There it goes. What's the... Let's inspect this. I can't... Oh, it can only be examined by taking off the car. Well, of course, of course. It's 63%. What is this guy's criteria? 62%. I might as well give the guy a new... But it doesn't say it needs it, so fuck it. You know what? I'm going to save myself some money. His pump's just fine. It's within the limits. It's within the limits. <laughs> 
What do you want from me? Honest Zomb here. Honest Zomb. Okay, let's uh, throw the car up on the uh, on the lifter here, and then we'll be able to remove the tires and take care of the braking problems. Should be fairly simple in theory. What it will be in practice, I'm not sure. But we will find out. So, the caliper looks good. I bet that brake pad is shot, though. A little bit of gunk on the uh, actual disc part here, but what's it look like? The disc is probably fine. Yeah, 63. That's good. So it was indeed not this side then that had any trouble, according to the guy's criteria. There's a certain level of uh, durability the parts have to have left in them in order to be considered okay by the customer, and it varies from customer to customer, so you can imagine the people that are more accepting of very low condition parts are probably the people that don't have a lot of money to spend on their car, like myself in real life, um, whereas the people that want very high tiered parts, like high tier endurance, like they can't have anything underneath 80%, are probably very, very wealthy and can afford it. But this, I can tell you for sure, that brake caliber is dead, and I'm sure the pad underneath it is not any better. Let's take a look at the pad. How's the brake pad? Brake pad's actually really good. What do I know? I'll throw that brake pad back on there. We'll leave that caliper alone. I'm sure he's got some rear braking problems as well. Let's take these off real fast. I really wish I would quit forgetting to uh, set my timer. Oh, those brake pads are shot. So let's get this caliper off so we can get to those pads. Boom, done and done. Get rid of that pad, that's fine. Okay, one more tire to inspect behind the guts thereof. So there we go, we'll do that, we'll throw that there, like so, like so, like so. And those brake pads are also shot, but that is a very nice brake caliper. So, got just a couple of calipers and pads to replace. Done and done. So it looks like I need two brake pads and a single brake caliper and a module. Simple enough. Simple enough. Let's run over here to the computer. We'll go brakes. I need a caliper. And then I need two sets of brake pads. And I also need a ABS module. Wow, $700. Good lord. Okay. So let's go fix up the brakes real fast. We'll put on a brand new caliper on this side to replace that one that was completely worn out. Done and done. We'll get the tire back on too. We'll be done with this vehicle just about. Okay, there's that. And done on that side. So let's go ahead and throw on the rear brake pads. We'll get some brand new ones on there. And a regular caliper. Done and done. And then the tire can come back on as well. Just about done with this. Very simple job. Hopefully we'll earn enough money for it, though. And maybe I'll do one more job after this just to round out my time because I was a derp and forgot to set my timer again. So brand new brake pads for this side. Old style caliber can go back on there. Or caliper. Not caliber. <laughs> caliber like a gun. Which, uh, also, guys, fun fact, um, I never mentioned this, but, uh, that video of me shooting with the 30-06 at the Tannerite and blowing it up, um, well, A, was extremely fun, B, I didn't mean to actually post it on my channel, I was gonna keep it as kind of like a private video, because I just didn't think it would fit on a gaming channel, just me shooting targets, but at the same time, it's gotten an awesome amount of reception, and, like, everybody was like, man, great shot, and stuff, and it's like, thanks, that made me feel really cool, but it was mostly just goofing around with my friends on the weekend, and, uh, I just went to throw it up on my, uh, YouTube so I could show, like, family members and stuff, so I was gonna leave it as private and unlisted, but <laughs> I forgot to check that box on the upload, and I just threw it up there for public viewing, so that was interesting, and I'm really happy it got a, uh, a good, um, a good response um, because I never intended for anybody to see it so fun stuff right there but anyways we'll finish up this car by getting in this ABS module real quick so this is a little computer that tells the brakes what to do to keep them anti-lock brakes because without it they're just regular lock brakes and that's not good okay so now we spent eight hundred and fifty five dollars but we made one thousand seven hundred and nine dollars so uh, Two hundred something dollars profit, I think, unless it's the money I'm receiving is my full amount. 
Like, if that's after what I spend on parts, I'm not sure what that means. I still have yet to figure that out. We'll sell off the old scrap metal there for $61. And let's see if we can take one more fast job real quick. Poor brake performance, brake problems, and can't take those. Brake problems and poor brake performance. Well, we just saw brakes. Come on, guys. Give us something. Great. Now we get to sit here. Burning video time. Okay. Who are you? Brake system needs fixing. Son of a bitch. Get out of my... <laughs> We're not brakes or us. Oh, my. Okay. Find and fix any running gear problems and sloppy gear steering. Oh, boy. Or sloppy car steering. Well, uh, this is probably going to take a little too long. I was hoping for a real quick final job on this video. Let's see what the list is, though. Maybe it'll be super easy. Oh, boy. It's... Nope. It's going to be shocks and everything else. Okay, so maybe for next video... Next video, we'll probably work on the shock system and all the steering problems that this car has. So, uh, anywho, thank you guys so much for joining me for episode 3 of Car Mechanic Simulator. I'm probably cutting it very short because my internal clock tends to run fast, so I think I've used up my 30 minutes already. I'm not sure. I try to keep my episodes at 30 minutes long. It seems to be the route to watch, unless it's like a really in-depth sort of thing. Sort of like B-17 tends to get out of hand and, uh... Any of the more, I guess, uh, routine-based simulators, uh, like DCS, stuff like that. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to skip ahead. I, I know you guys have told me in the second video that it's okay if I off-screen some stuff, but no one's really said for sure. So if you want to see me continuing on from the ground up where I'm at right now, working on these smaller little uh, front-wheel drive sedans and stuff like that, uh, I have no problem with it. It's just there's going to be a lot of these before I can get to some of the bigger jobs and can start unlocking car auctions and stuff. So if you guys are already fed up with this, let me know. I'll switch over to my other profile where I'm maybe two or three jobs away from unlocking the parking center so I can then go into car auctions and maybe we'll start that out. Maybe I'll just do on my own too uh, maybe after like maybe episode 6 we'll start in on the uh, profile that I've off screened a lot of stuff on I'm not sure let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you liked it hit that like button if you disliked it there's a thumbs down too let me know what I'm doing wrong I, at least I would hope you could so I could try to improve it in the future and as always guys thank you so much for watching and being awesome subscribers and just making my channel what it's become today so and guess until next time i'll see you guys later sorry it's kind of a bad bad outro anyways till next video bye bye